right. So today we are back because we are on the eve of the worldwide celebration 2021. And my gosh, they've, they've ruined everything. We had like a good understanding of like really only two things it could be. And then they went and they threw it all away with this freaking Super Vegeta, which is what I want to talk about today. But first, we got we to gotta take, take it back. All right, we got to take Time Machine back. Let's go through it real quick to support some things we're going to talk about in a second. Here we go. We're going back all the way to 2017, the first major joint celebration between Global and JP, where we got units at the exact same time. I remember it. It was absolutely insane. And definitely on that same account, the biggest fumble Dokkan has ever had, which was 2B release. So if you went around that time in 2017, a whopping four years ago, I don't even know how this is. I, like, I remember covering this like it was freaking yesterday, bro. This is, Dokkan's almost seven years old, man. This is insane. Anyways, so these units released on the global side with no leader ability. On their leader ability, it literally just said to be released. I could not believe that they did this. And in retrospect, I actually am surprised it was almost even like, I don't want to say legal, but there's got to, there had to be some weirdness to that. And the reason why they did that was because given the fact they did a joint celebration between the two, JP had wrapped up releasing all the 120 leads, but Global hadn't. And so I guess the developers of Dokkan, Akatsuki, and Bandai thought, um, well, if we give the leader abilities to Gogeta and Omega, then no one's going to want to summon for the 120 leads later. So the leader abilities for those units didn't get implemented for months after you would have summoned for them during the 200 million download celebration. And this again was the first time that we had a major celebration cross between the two. Now, let's fast forward a year later into 2018, the 250 million download celebration. Definitely one that they got significantly more right. They definitely learned a lesson from a to be released standpoint. Both versions of the game celebrating at the same time. This was when we actually got a release of AGO Goku, the fully transforming one that in retrospect, I actually don't like those units as much because they put all the effort into the final form. It takes so many turns to get to the Super Saiyan Blue Goku of that. And on the flip side, the Tech Frieza that goes all the way to Golden Frieza and then the LR Goku and Frieza all releasing in this massive 250 million dollar celebration in 2018 three years ago i just cannot believe that celebration is that old now a key point that happened right here is a physical android 17 released on the jp side a month before the 250 million dollar celebration now granted the actual goku and the frieza didn't necessarily coincide with that 17 but 17 went very well with the lr goku and frieza right a representative of universe 7 sort of units combined together so it was a little bit of a sort of hint as to what was to come now if we fast forward a year again into 2019 this was actually the last time as of right now that we've had a quote-unquote millions download celebration and that was when we celebrated 300 million downloads in 2019 and even then i've said this for each one thus far but i still can't believe this has also been two years like i still look at gohan and sell the lrs from that celebration as like still newer units but they're two years old like they've aged very well <laughs> they've aged very very well but during that celebration again 2019 30 million dollar celebration we had the release of as i just mentioned lr agl gohan as well as the lr intelligence cell and then for the sort of basic lr on a standard lr banner the lr androids a couple weeks later after the release of those now if we sort of rewind a month before that right before the world well, see, now in my head, it's called the world, Worldwide. But right before the $300 million celebration, we had the release of the physical Piccolo. Literally in the same exact time slot as that physical 17, smack dab right there, exact same time slot. And again, it coincided exactly with the Cell Saga celebration that we had for the 2019 $300 million celebration. Now, let's fast forward to the one that's the most recent on a lot of people's minds. I feel like a lot of y'all obviously haven't forgot this one, but still 2020, they dropped the million down celebration. I'm guessing the game has slowed down. Now, I don't want to detour too much, but if you guys pay any attention to Legends, Toshi actually just mentioned this in a video this week, was that they only count active users. So they're currently celebrating 50 million users. He mentions that so like clearly and wants to really point out the fact that he's, they're only counting like active users is I'm guessing that Dokkan to an extent was counting like re-rolls and stuff like that. I just, I think a lot of the re-roll type stuff is just really slowed down for Dokkan is really all I'm trying to say. So that's probably why we aren't just hitting these massive million dollar celebrations. That's why they've transitioned to calling it a worldwide celebration. Um, they may surprise us with a 350 million this year, who knows? 
but uh, as of right now, I'm going to refer to what happens this year as worldwide as well. So last year, worldwide celebration, they dropped the million downloads, you know, naming scheme, and we get STR LR Vegito and physical LR Buhan, and then accompanied two weeks later by an LR Vegeta. However, take a step back one month before that, in the exact same time slot as Fizz 17, as Fizz Piccolo, we get a Tech Ultimate Gohan. That is the exact same theme as the worldwide celebration. Are you noticing a pattern here? So very clearly, that time slot right before the worldwide, so far, outside of, of, of course, 2017, because 2017's 200 million dollar celebration with Gogeta and Omega was just kind of an outlier in general because it happened an entire month earlier than in 2018, 2019, and 2020. That was actually celebrated at the end of July. Whereas if you're sitting here wondering for a date as when to expect the worldwide celebration, typically happens around the uh, 29th of August to the 31st of August. Um, it's been the 29th the last two years, but in 2018, it was the 31st. So you can look, you can be looking for it somewhere at the very, very end of August, but for 2017's 200 million dollar celebration, it actually happened uh, at the end of July. So it's just, it's that one's just entirely a bit of an outlier. But if we take the last three years of data, that time slot for release on JP at the end of July, literally the last Dokkan Fest to release before the massive worldwide celebration, it has always been the exact same theme as the worldwide celebration. That's where this gets confusing because up until now, we've been seeing them release two mainly themed things, and that is GT and movies. So very clearly, we all had sort of come into a conclusion, like a joint conclusion, that probably what would happen is year seven would be one theme and worldwide celebration would be another. Now those could be probably pretty interchangeable, right? Worldwide celebration could be a GT themed, and then year seven could be a movie themed, probably DBS Gogeta, or, you know, DBS Broly and DBS Gogeta. Uh, to some extent but then we had the biggest wrench ever thrown in with the, this release of super vegeta now i just have a really hard time believing that we're getting another cell themed celebration two years later when it's so random right this entire year outside of the year six celebration which was entirely u7 themed has been a just constant release of movie units and gt units so then to all of a sudden release this super vegeta it's just it's so it's so strange like it's 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 one of the strangest releases in a minute i feel like like everything else you can kind of sort of like figure out and calculate and be like okay and then super vegeta now i'm not complaining because i love that unit a ton it's just super vegeta so to get you guys in my headspace right now very clearly as we've just stated the three main themes that everyone's thinking now are cell saga gt themed movie themed now obviously for those specifically i'm thinking like an lr by guys goku because we thought we were going to get that you know two years ago during the cell saga and then we got lr androids and everyone was like what what <laughs> what what like the it was the perfect setup for an lr by guys goku like where where is it and then they could probably coincide that with some form of a transforming cell and then you know lord knows what they could do for the part two lr as well now if they go with gt themed obviously as to not actually like conflict with say the already established super saiyan 4 gogeta the intelligence one as well as the tech one too they could obviously release a super saiyan 4 goku a super saiyan 4 vegeta combined card similar to the year three lrs or obviously str vegeto lr tech gogeta and those super saiyan fours transform into a super saiyan 4 gogeta and then some form of an omega shinron or a sin shinron that transforms into omega something of that nature and then it's not get too detracted like right now in my head obviously then they could give an easy a to the tech super saiyan 4 gogeta the fizz omega like there's a there's a lot they could do with a gt theme celebration very clearly and it's again it just still feels like they've been building up to that and then super vegeta and then lastly for a movie theme which again in my head the fact that we're getting a 2022 superhero movie it just makes more sense to push the mo a movie theme celebration to next year right to build hype for a new dbs movie but i think at this point obviously an lr broly is is just deserved there's already so many lr brolies right but we don't actually have a proper super saiyan lr broly from dbs broly that then of course goes into his like full power state and all of that so that is very clearly a massive missing unit from the game and then on top of that if you really think about it there is not technically a super saiyan blue gogeta in the game right the only way that you can get to the two super saiyan blue gogetas in the game currently is you have to transform so we don't have a non 
transforming one. So I think they probably build out a Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta in name um, or sort of in the same vein of LRUI and LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. I think it would be a very similar unit to those. Um, I don't really know about a revive. You know, I'm not saying specifically I like those kits, but very similar to the fact that they're not transforming. Um, and they just have a lot of beautiful animations, everything like that. But the activability gets tricky, right? Because the one we've already got from the year five LR is like absolutely like beautiful. And I really don't know what they do past that. You know what I mean? Like that would look so good. Like how do you build on top of that? But I'm sure they'll figure it out because there's no way that we're not getting another blue Gogeta at some point. So ultimately what I'm coming down to again, I think it has to be one of those three. Um, you know, obviously there are some other missing categories here. Like we've never really had it. And I'm just throwing this out there because if them releasing Super Vegeta was to throw us totally off and they're going to go completely and totally random and not be normal Dokkan that is super habitual and super predictable, um, you know, we could get something like, I mentioned this to Truth, but a future Trunks theme celebration because that could kind of relate back to Super Vegeta. Um, and I'm actually talking, you know, Z future Trunks because we really don't have like an updated animation version of him slicing and dice and Frieza, you know? So that'd be kind of cool to see as well. Another massive one that people have been asking for for a long time. I don't know if this is really the right time to do it, but is Saiyan Saga, Goku, and Vegeta. They could do a lot of cool stuff with those units. Dude, the animations for those units could be absolutely incredible. Uh, and really just to get you involved, like what is something that you think um, is missing that we really haven't had like a proper sort of representation for. I mean, a lot of these units, obviously like Saiyan Saga, Goku, Vegeta, there's several units for them, but they just don't have like a proper Dokkan Fest uh, or proper LR sort of like massive celebration centered around them is what I'm trying to say. So very curious to see what y'all think. I also think we could be due up for a DBS future celebration as well. I know we've got a bajillion freaking Goku Blacks and all of that, but with the fact that the tech LR Goku Black and Zamasu is definitely due for an easy A. It wouldn't surprise me if a future art sort of theme celebration from DBS is, is in our near future as well. And of course, if they do do <laughs> a future saga themed, then that always gives us the option for another, like the 50th Vegito Blue LR. <laughs> so like, I mean, I, listen, it, it really at this point, it would not surprise me if another Vegito Blue doesn't happen. And I don't want to go too far down right now into the rabbit hole, but like it also like I know movie themed and all that, but it wouldn't surprise me if we got another theme celebration with uh, both the Blue Boys back, Blue Gogeta, Blue Vegito, but um, non-transforming both of them. So, bro, you just you never know. But again, the entire build up this year of movies and GT, it just seems like i'm going to stick with my guns if someone was to ask me what i think this celebration is ultimately going to be i think it's going to be gt and i think you save a massive movie celebration to get people hyped for the new dbs 2022 movie next year as year seven and that's where we get a new broly a new gogeta um, and maybe some other fun and exciting things it's also crazy to think about the fact that people at akatsuki um, obviously the legends devs any of the devs for any of these games already know what's happening in super and already developing characters and units based around the the movie it's very very intriguing like there's definitely somewhere out there at least concept art for a new dokkan character that is centered around the dbs superhero movie and that's very interesting so anyways that's where i'm at that is what i think worldwide celebration is going to be um, again, it won't, I won't be even remotely surprised if it's one of those three things. Uh, and it, it, actually at this point, again, with the release of Super Vegeta throwing just literally everything off, um, it wouldn't surprise me if it's just the most random thing ever. You know what I mean? Uh, I just li literally, it, it just, it wouldn't at this point, like Akatsuki maybe just trying to throw us all off the trail, right? They're like, ha, you thought you knew us. You don't. You're Super Vegeta. Now try and guess what we're going to do. Uh, it's worth noting that last year on august 17th we got a teaser image for what the worldwide celebration is going to be in the form of majin Buu's sort of capsule so it'll be intriguing to see if we get that same thing now if you're watching this on the exact day this releases on my channel then you can expect to see that in 10 days give or take uh if they could do do decide to do that again this year so it'll be intriguing to see if they do but that's the video let me know down below what you think about worldwide celebration and what they're going to do that's putting you in my headspace and what I think is going to happen. Uh, and I am very excited to see what's up. You guys know reactions, gameplay, summons, all of it right here on this channel. So subscribe, like, have a great, great day. Keep on keeping on now, Jinx off. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.